Today is something very special dahil pag-uusapan natin yung bagong flagship device ng Huawei which is of course the Huawei P50 Bro. Hey guys, it's your Tech Mary and welcome back to our channel. Akala ko talaga guys, hindi malalaunch itong Huawei P50 Pro sa atin kasi tingnan nyo naman, around August, September, na-release in China nga itong kanilang P series. But then, Ayan na nga, last two week guys, nalaman ko na ilo-launch nila here officially itong kanilang P50 Pro. So yep, sa kanilang lineup ng P series guys, may P50 Pro tayo which is what I have right now. And then meron din tayong non-pro version. Wala tayong P50 Pro Plus na nakita natin last year. So I'm guessing guys, may ibang pasabog ang Huawei probably next year. And yep, when it comes to their P series, I really do have great expectations and hindi na ka magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. Nag-expect ako na dapat maganda cameras nito. Anyway, ito ang packaging ng P50 Pro. Kung mapapansin nyo, may dalawang malaking bilog. And that is because ganito na ang itsura ng kanyang cameras. Mamaya makikita nyo yan. And gusto ko lang din i-point out, no? Yung ating packaging ng P50 Pro ay yung regular box na nakukuha natin typically sa mga phones na mid-range and budget devices. Kasi nga, alam naman natin na yung mga flagship phones ngayon, katulad ng iPhone, ng Samsung, maninipis na sila dahil wala na nga siyang power brick inside. But just so you know, yung P50 series na na-release sa China ay wala pong charger na kasama sa loob ng box. Buksan na natin siya. Alam ko namang excited na kayo. By the way, mukhang ulumalayo na rin sa plastic ang Huawei dahil yung kanilang packaging ay papel na, unlike before na plastic. Nako, yan, sinasabi ko sa inyo, iwas-iwas tayo sa mga plastic. Pero syempre, <laughs> may plastic sa loob. Ano ba naman to? <laughs> A plastic, yeah. May clear jelly case tayo. Meron din tayong USB Type-C to USB Type-A na charging keyboard. Huwag natin kalimutan yung kanyang 66 watt na Huawei Supercharge. At baka kalimutan ko ba naman yung panundot natin or the SIM ejector tool. Okay, so mga nagsasabing mukha daw kalan ang Mate series noon, ano, yung previous na nakita nyo. Ganun pa rin naman, pero dito sa P-series natin, nag-improve. Induction na dating. O, di ba, social electric na tayo. But, kidding aside, for me, it's one of the nicest looking camera module. Alam ko yung iba medyo mawi-weird dahil, again, una nga natin siyang makikita sa Huawei. Let's face it, it is pretty huge. Pero para lang naman sa akin, they cleverly hid yung kanyang mga cameras dito sa dalawang giant circular camera modules. So yes, yung design niya, it may be a new look, pero refreshing siya sa mata. Probably nga dahil, alam niyo, nakakasawa na rin na paulit-ulit yung camera modules na nakikita natin. Also, kahit na pro nga itong P50 na meron tayo ngayon, it's not as big as I thought compared sa ating mga flagship phones katulad ng S21 Ultra or kaya ng Pixel 6 Pro or kahit ng iPhone 13 Pro Max. To be exact, it's only 195 grams and 6.6 inches lamang ang kanyang display. Anyway, walang minensyon si Huawei regarding the type of glass na ginamit nila dito sa kanilang rear panel. But all I know is meron naman siyang IP68 water and dust resistant. So, safe naman siya guys to use underwater basta up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. Anyway, let's have a very quick phone tour. Sa ibabaw, kung mapapansin nyo, napakaraming butas ng phone na to, no? Kasi nga, meron tayong secondary microphones, IR blaster, at yung kanyang speaker. Sa ilalim, nandito yung kanyang SIM tray, USB Type-C port, isa pa niyang microphone, at of course, may speakers din tayo. Sa kanan, nandito naman yung kanyang volume rockers and power button. Expand Double naman ang storage ng Huawei P50 Pro up to 250 gig and the take note 256 gig of internal storage yung meron tayo sa kanya. Yun nga lang guys, hindi siya dual SIM. And take note, it's a nano memory card na kung saan sa mga Huawei stores rin natin siya mabibili. Overall, I love and I dig the design of the Huawei P50 Pro. I'll be very honest with you guys na in love talaga ako sa mga marketing photos na meron ang Huawei sa kanya. Yun nga lang, once you see it personally na, no, reflective yung kanyang design. 
design. Wala rin siyang gradient effect na kung saan mag-iiba yung kulay niya. And yes, this phone somehow attracts all the fingerprints na meron ako. Ewan ko, minuminuto. <laughs> Kasi guys, alam niyo naman ako, si Pasmado. So kung medyo hindi kayo fan ng mga ganitong klase ng phones, may iba naman siyang kulay, which is the golden black, the pearl white, and the charm pink. But again, very appealing naman tignan ng gold. It's just that dumihin lang talaga siya. Again, very classy naman ng gold, guys. Don't get me wrong. Yun nga lang, since reflective yung kanyang likod and very smudge magnet, expect nyo lang na may at maya pupunasan nyo yung device. Balik tayo sa usapang speakers, no? Uulitin ko, stereo speaker sa top ang meron tayo sa kanya. Which is dapat lang naman kasi syempre, this is their flagship device. So, expect the best of the best when it comes to its specifications. So, on paper, maganda yung kanyang specs. Pero in real life, okay ba yung sound quality niya? Actually, no guys, if I were to describe it, sobrang na-enjoy ko siya enough na hindi ko kailangang gumamit ng wired or wireless earphones para lang magkaroon ng immersive sound experience. That's how nice it is kasi nga guys, kabilaan yung labas ng sound niya. sa display na meron tayo sa Huawei P50 Pro, kung mapapansin nyo, curved yung kanyang sides. So yes, hindi siya flat display. And I'll be very honest with you guys, hindi ako masyadong fan ng mga curved display smartphones. Sinasabi ko naman to and very honest naman ako sa inyo when it comes to reviewing smartphones. So yes, kahit na lagi kong sinasabi sa inyo na gustong gusto ko yung Pixel 6 Pro, hindi ko magawa ng, alam niyo yun, 100% kasi nga dahil doon sa kanyang curved display. I mean, subjective naman to. Kanya-kanya lang tayo ng trip. Yung iba gusto, yung iba hindi. Siyempre, we have our own preferences. But anyway, it's not as extreme as as other Huawei smartphones na may curved display, hindi siya waterfall na hindi katulad ng mga nakakita natin sa mga Mate series in the past. Isa sa mga nagustuhan ko dito sa Huawei P50 Pro is yung ganda ng kulay ng display niya. Uulitin ko, meron siyang 6.6 inches na display size and OLED ang ginamit dito and syempre 120Hz refresh rate na rin siya. I mean, it's the standard set of specifications naman na nakukuha natin sa mga flagship devices. It's not surprising, pero para sa akin guys, it has a great looking panel na mayroong minimal bezels. Out of the box, meron na rin siyang mga pre-installed applications na hindi tayong mahihirapan i-download in case lang kasi nga again, wala tayong Google application sa kanya. And the way to download apps is through the Huawei App Gallery and Petal Search widget. So somehow, mas mapapadali yung pag install natin ng apps dito gawa nga ng mga folders na meron na tayo sa kanya. Although, take note, when I was using my Huawei tablets like the Huawei MatePad Pro, nakapag-download ako ng Google applications sa kanya through GSpace. So, I'll be putting na lang the link na kung saan tinuro ko kung paano siya gawin. Madaling-madali lang naman ito, guys. And sa tingin ko, makakatulong to lalo in case na, alam niyo yun, hesitant pa rin kayo to buy or get a Huawei device. Anyway, since nasa usapang operating system na rin naman tayo and of course, user interface niya. Isa to sa kauna-unahang phone na nahawakan ko na merong Harmony OS na. I mean, hindi ka rin naman kasi guys na subukang gamitin yung Huawei Nova 9. Hindi natin siya na-review. So, ito yung kauna-unahang Huawei smartphone na mahahawakan ko nga na merong ganitong operating system. Sa mga nagtatanong, no, it still cannot run any Google applications, YouTube, Google Drives, and more. However, guys, sa mga nagtatanong kung anong pinakaiba nitong Harmony OS, of course, sa kanilang previous skin na EMUI, it performs most likely, guys, and medyo hindi siya na iiba. Wala masyadong learning curve, actually. May mga nice touches lang, katulad ng bagong home screen na super interactive when it comes to widgets and very seamless connection between Huawei devices. Kung mapapansin nyo rin, when you swipe down from 
from the right, dito lalabas ang kanyang control panel. And kung itotodo pa natin yung pag-swipe down, dito na lalabas yung iba pa niyang drop-down settings katulad ng airplane mode, eye comfort, screen recorder, at kung ano-ano pa na pwede naman nating i-adjust. When we swipe to the left, dito naman bubungad of course yung ating notification drop-down. And by the way, yung in-display fingerprint scanner pala na itong P50 Pro is actually faster compared sa other flagship devices in the market. Although, kung mapapansin nyo guys, yung positioning ng kanyang fingerprint scanner is slightly located sa bandang ibabaw as compared to other or previous Huawei devices. So, ang tanong, is it comfortable to use? and comfortable at first. Pero again, kalauna naman, you will get used to it. Katulad ng ibang compromises na nakikita or nai-experience natin sa iba pang phones. Usapang cameras naman tayo. Alam kong pinunta nyo dito yung quality na ibibigay ng Huawei P50 Pro. Is it iPhone or Pixel level? Actually, tignan natin. Yung pinaka-top camera niya, guys, ito yung parang main camera system niya. It features a 50 megapixel main camera. Nandito rin ang kanyang 13 megapixels na ultra-wide angle lens. And yung kanyang 40 megapixel na monochrome sensor. And then, sa ilalim naman ng circle, this is where the 64 megapixel periscopic zoom lens na mayroong 3.5 times optical zoom is located. Kung babasahin niyo siya sa papel or based on paper, it's your typical camera setup sa mga flagship lineup. Syempre, it's not as impressive as you'd expect. Pero kung usapang hardware and of course, new image signal processing software ng Huawei, which is the XD Optics, it actually produces better photos. Gustong-gusto ko yung ultra-wide camera na meron tayo sa P50 Pro. It's not compared to the Mate series na hindi masyadong wide yung pinoprovide niya. Although, gusto ko yung idea na binibigay ng ultra-wide camera ng last Mate series na meron tayo here in the Philippines. But alam mo yun, minsan nahanapin mo talaga yung mala fish eye effect na ultra-wide camera. Very well maintained yung ating ultra-wide photos kung ikukumpara natin sa kanyang main camera. Kung mapapansin nyo rin, every time that you will be capturing a photo, kahit anong photo man yan, merong processing na nangyayari. So guys, huwag kayong masyadong impatient. It takes around 1 to 2 seconds lang naman. And na mas na-enhance yung mga photos taken by the Huawei P50 Pro. When it comes to telephoto shooting, meron tayong apat na iba't ibang zoom anchors. Meron tayong 0.5 times, 1 times, 3.5 times, and yung kanyang 10 times. Huwag na rin natin kalimutan na capable rin siya hanggang 100 times digital zoom. Nabigyan naman ng justice ng P50 Pro yung dalawang factors na dapat natin i-consider when it comes to telephoto shots and that are the brightness and yung kanyang image quality. Yung 100 times digital zoom ng P50 Pro is for me lang naman guys, still the same. Same? <laughs> Z. Alam naman natin that Huawei is very well known when it comes to far distance zoom abilities. Okay yung quality, not too impressive and not too dull as well. Pero in fairness na guys, as compared to other phones na capable rin to shoot hanggang 100 times, ngayon usapang night mode naman tayo. Ang kinagusto ko guys sa night mode shots ng P50 Pro ay wala siyang kahit na anong naging problema when it comes to color casting. And take note, kayang-kayang lumaban ng P50 Pro kahit na sobrang dilim pa ng environment. By the way, no, kung usapang features tayo, may inad si Huawei P50 Pro and this is yung tinatawag nila na instant snap shot. Itong bagong function na to guys is quite similar sa in-offer or nakikita natin na sa mga Vivo phones. Katulad ng meron sila which is the sports capture and street photography naman ng Realme GT Master Edition. So, after those photos, guys, kamusta naman ang video mode ng Huawei P50 Pro? Ang smartphone na to, guys, nagsusupport siya ng 4K shooting up to 4K at 60fps and AIS, optical image stabilization, sa lahat ng focal lens niya. Alam natin maganda yung set of cameras na meron itong Huawei P50 Pro. Pero guys, hindi ko talaga mapagkakailan na paborito ko yung kanyang front camera. It has 13 megapixels, f2.4 wide angle, 
camera. Kung mapapansin nyo, kapag inopen natin yung mismong camera application, meron tayong tatlong zoom toggles na pwedeng i-access sa kanya. We have the regular one times, we also have the 0.8 times, and the ultra wide angle. Meron na rin silang bagong petal clip application guys, na kung saan dito pwede natin i-edit mismo yung ating mga videos na ma-access natin of course sa gallery na hindi na rin natin kailangan mag-download ng third-party application. Ngayon, kung maganda ang display ng T50 Pro, 120Hz, OLED panel, dapat medyo okay din ang battery capacity niya. So, kung usapang battery, ang Huawei P50 Pro guys, it packs 4,360 mAh and again, it has a 50W wireless fast charging and 66 watts naman na fast charging support. Okay, so mabilis ang charging capability ng Huawei P50 Pro. Alam nating lahat yan. Pero... Kung usapang battery life, medyo nakulangan ako sa kanya ng konte since malakas ngang mga e ng battery ang 120Hz refresh rate. Kahit na sabi natin it only took 15 minutes para tayo ay makakuha ng 45% of battery juice, medyo hindi nga lang siya reliable gamitin kung tayo ay lalabas ng bahay at hindi tayo magdadala ng power bank dahil kalaunan mauubusan at mauubusan tayo ng battery juice. Buti na lang din siguro no guys, hindi 5G enabled itong Huawei P50 Pro. Although, tinitignan ko siya as a positive as of the moment, hindi siya masyadong future-proof dahil nga doon sa lack of 5G. So yes, yung lack Lack of support natin sa 5G connectivity is indeed a bit disappointing. And by the way guys, yung Huawei P50 Pro, it comes with the two different chipset variants. We have the Kirin 9000 or the Snapdragon 888. And right now, yung unit na ginagamit ko na for review has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. 4G. So yes, no matter how good the specs are, kahit na napakaganda ng cameras nito, but if you're someone who is looking for a 5G smartphone as of the moment, mapapaisip ka pa rin na parang may kulang talaga. Overall, to summarize everything and to give you guys yung aking official, final, Visual na, final pa. Para sa akin, it has the top features na hinahanap mo sa isang smartphone. Advanced camera technology, which is hindi rin naman madaling hanapin sa mga flagship phones ngayon. Best of the best din naman yung chipset na ginamit, which concludes na hindi rin naman ako guys nahihirapan when it comes to multitasking and heavy games dito sa Huawei P50 Pro. And wala rin ako na-experience masyado na heating issue sa kanya. Premium OLED display and has the highest DxO Mark camera rating. But then again, at the end of the day, wala siyang 5G. Which may affect lahat ng sinabi ko kanina. So yes, kung flagship owner perspective ka, mapapaisip ka rin naman talaga. So ito ang tanong ko para sa inyo. Would you rather get all these specs without 5G? Or wala kayong pakialam sa kung anong meron siya basta may 5G? Okay kayo. So guys, yun ang iiwan kong question sa inyo. I would like to have a conversation with you guys. So let me know in the comment down below. That's basically it. Again, it's your Takan Mary and see you on our next video. Bye guys!